One thing we don't stress enough when it comes to food production, and we talk a lot about the animals and the crops and why we do what we do, but the other aspect of it that we also need to talk about is farm safety. Um, we can't even say this time of year. Uh, it depends on your operation and if you are working cattle, if you are growing crops, depending on the machinery you use and the time of year, um, that's all going to change. So right now one of the big things is the power takeoff units or the PTOs. And they spin around really, really fast. And once you get anything caught in them, the amount of torque and power that is in there will literally do a lot of damage, especially to children and as well as adults. I know quite a few individuals who have lost appendages over the years, whether they were a small child or an adult, either a piece of clothing or hair, a shoelace, anything can get caught in there and wrapped around it and it doesn't just stop when that happens when it's harvest time we think about the augers and how those are run off ptos and right now balers and disc binds and hay binds and different type of cutting equipment most tractors have some sort of PTO mechanism that runs the equipment behind it if it's not hydraulic. And so we just have to be mindful when people come out to our farms or when you yourself are visiting a farm, if you're not familiar with equipment, to keep away and to keep kids away. They are supposed to have protective sleeves and covers, but again, those aren't 100% effective and many times they get broken or cracked or a PTO shaft gets taken and put on a different piece of equipment and the sleeve doesn't fit or extend the length of it. Just again, be safe on the farms when it comes to running equipment and different things that are going on. Keep that in mind, keep kids away. Again, we wanna be safe uh, when it comes to food production and so we wanna get the product to the consumer and just be here at the end to do it again next year.